Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video, and today I am bringing you guys episode number one of Pack Squads. I've been really wanting to do this series for a while, but I just never had the time to, but uh, I opened up some packs on my main account, transferred some coins over to a secondary account, so we're pretty much starting fresh in Division 10, and uh, we have a blank fresh slate to fill this roster with so uh, before we even start up some games I'm gonna go through some of the rules and also open up some of the packs so we can have some type of starting lineup to play for pack squads and I'll show you what packs I will be opening up it's nothing too crazy it's just gonna be one of these 15k gold plus packs two of these uh, silver plus packs and then one bronze plus pack I think this will be a pretty good mix of players it's not gonna be like too overpowered of a team in division 10 I think it'll be a pretty good competition in the beginning, and then we'll just see how well this team can grow from here. Uh, each episode will be about uh, two games each. If I can get some rage quits early off in the series, then I will try to maybe squeeze in three just to get the series going as quick as possible. But I want to do this pack squad series for a while. I think it's going to be very interesting just to build this team up straight from packs. And uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and open up the packs. And then I'll go ahead and explain the rules. I don't know why I backed out, but uh, we'll open up the bronze plus pack first. And uh, we'll see if we can get any of those team of the year cards that are out right now. You never know. But uh, let's just go ahead. We got uh, Alex Bishop. So we got a goalie at least, which is good. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use him though. Uh, Jacob Lapierre. We also got Eric Leisure. I don't know any of these guys. So I'm just going to quickly scroll through them. Morgan Geeky. Brad Morrison. Um... A lot of contracts, but yeah, I will probably use maybe some of these logos and jerseys because right, right now I have the Anaheim uh, Ducks as my main team, but let's go ahead and send those all to my collection and we'll go ahead and open up the Silver Plus packs and uh, let's just go ahead and skip it. I don't want to go through each one. We got Brendan Kickton, uh, Dravensky Breen, uh, Mutinin. Uh, these Silver contracts actually look pretty nice. Ken Appleby, he's a pretty good goalie, and Steve Kellenberger, so... Nothing too great in that pack. We're gonna, maybe, you never know, we can pull a team of the year in the gold plus pack. But let's get this next pack opened up. And let's skip. We got David Steckel. All right. He's, I think he used to play for the Leafs, right? So, uh, an 80 overall silver card is not bad, especially in the center spot. He will come in use for sure. Uh, Tom Santala, Mayer. Uh, we got Harold. I think he used to play for uh, New Jersey, right? I'm not 100% sure on that one, but... Um, we got some good guys in that silver plus pack. Let's go ahead and open up this gold plus pack and that should be enough players to fill up this roster. So let's go ahead, quickly scroll through it. Nicholas Cronwall, that is not a bad pull at all. That's a good defenseman on our team. He's definitely going to be our uh, stay at home defenseman for the most part. Jaden Schwartz, that's a pretty good player. Patrick Nemeth, I think those are our two rare players. So everybody else should be non-rare. Ben Hutton. Uh, Reed Boucher, some not bad players, but we got some higher overall silver players for sure. We got a couple coaches, and they have some different synergies as well. So we will try to build this team uh, depending on what our players are. So I'll go ahead into the roster. I'll show you guys what I built. All right, so we have built our starting team up, and it actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, we have some bronze players in there. We've got a lot of silvers, and we got a couple golds that will help kind of push this team uh, to hopefully to the Division 10 title. But uh, I will go through the lineups quickly. We got Jane Schwartz, David Steckel, and Garnet Hathaway on the first line. We got Tyson Mullock, uh, Santala, Boucher on the second. We got Kellenberger, Brad Morrison, and Dravecki on the third. As well as Lapierre. We got Geeky and Sammy Mutinin on the fourth line. So not too bad for sure. I think uh, David Steckel actually on this lineup is probably one of my, my better uh, silver players on this team. Take a look at this. He's got 90 face-offs. So he's going to come in real handy in this series for the first like five or six episodes. So we'll see how he turns out. But 80 overall centerman. Uh, that's a silver card. I cannot complain about that. We'll go on to the defense. we got Nicholas Cronwall, Peter Harold. we got Brendan Kickton, Ben Hutton, and Patrick Nemeth, and Chris Breen for our defense core. Not too bad. They should be able to hold down the fort. And also going into the coaches. Wasn't able to fill out any synergies. Um, so I just threw in Jay Regan for the most part for right now. 
And uh, we have Robert Mayer in net, as well as Ken Appleby in the backup. So, not a terrible team. We're going to head into our first game, but before we do that, I'm just going to quickly explain the rules. So I'm going to keep the rules pretty simple for the most part, just because I want to get into Division 1 as soon as possible. And uh, I'm not going to be implementing Lost Streak, so if we lose games, we're not going to be losing any player, just because it takes too much time to like go on random.org and take off players. Instead, uh, we're just going to build this team with whatever packs we can get, and we just want to get wins. So for every win that we get with this team, we can buy one 7,500 gold pack, and of course that depends on our streak. So say if we get an 8-game win streak, then we can buy 8 7,500 gold packs. So that's pretty much one of the main rules that I'm going to be implementing in. Another rule that I'm going to put in is that for every 5-game win streak, I can buy whatever special pack that's out in the store. So I think that will help facilitate some pretty nice special cards. Uh, another rule that I'll put in as well is uh, that I can change my lineups around as well. So you might... Maybe when we get farther into this series, maybe season or episode four or episode five, we might get a whole bunch of players with a whole bunch of different synergies. I can feel free to like switch around players uh, to build new chemistry, or I can completely uh, change the whole roster around and, you know, maybe play with some different team with like a heavy hitter synergy or a team with a speedster synergy or one with a team wheels. So I have some creative freedom with the synergies for the most part with the pack squad series so those are the only rules i'm going to be implementing in pack squad this season so hopefully you guys will enjoy that but if i'm missing anything feel free to leave in the comments or if you have any suggestions on new rules feel free to post it in the comment section below so let's go ahead and go into our first game here we need to get a win and start upgrading this team i'll meet you guys in there All right, guys, so we found our first game. Let's see who he has. He's got Nugent Hopkins, Smith, and Killorn on his first line. So looks like he's pretty much playing with a starting pack or pack that he gets from starting the game. But anyways, I'm going to have to practice commentating. I know uh, I haven't commentated in a while, but let's get this game going. Let's see if we can get some goals. All right, so we got a power play. We'll see if we can capitalize on it. But uh, so far, so good. And uh, we, I don't know who we have on our power play. I did rearrange the lines a little bit, but I think it's Centala. A lot of silver players on this lineup. Let's uh, just get a rounder player. Pass it across. Nope. Pass it back. Back to kicked in. Moloch in front. Shoot. Oh, man. Just completely fanned on it. Boucher. Let's swing around the net. See if he will chase me. There you go. Around him. And we're going to snipe it. Oh, right over the glove. Back to the point. There he is. Boucher. Oh, almost. Moloch still so much pressure on him. Can't score a goal, though. Oh, there's two guys in front of the net. No, we got hit down, but good chances there. Come on, let me switch to defender. Cromwell with a big poke. Just luckily held the right trigger long enough so we can switch quickly. But, all right, we got Dravecki, I think. Cut through the middle. Back to the side. Uh, tried to backhand it on net, but couldn't. There it is. Morrison. Nope, nope, no. All right. Back down low. Let's try to get him out of position here. Come on, grab the puck. But definitely the puck handling skills aren't that great on these players. Come on. Pass it. Kellenberger. Backhand forehand. No, couldn't get it in. Back to the point. Cronwall. Nice. He gets a nice shot from the point. Screen shot in front of the net. And we beat Dustin Tokarski, making it one to nothing. So I'm not expecting these games to be too hard, especially with this team in the beginning. But uh, good goal to get. Let's try to keep up some more uh, good gameplay. Pass it to the Steckler. He's like six foot six or six foot seven. He was the guy that injured Crosby, but nice pass. Kicked in. Oh, nice shot from the point. Just try to get some more point shots because those tips I know are pretty uh, OP in this game. But uh, number 53, I think that's Boucher. Cut in front. Steal the puck, steal the puck. Lapierre back to the point. Let's just go right in. Lots of time and space. Dustin Tokarski though robs me. Alright, so we're ending off this first period with a 1-0 lead. He's got no shots in net, so that is definitely not bad as well. So my defense hasn't been too bad, but again, this is Division 10 gameplay. So let's go ahead and start off the second period. We just gotta keep up the pressure. Let's try to get some more goals, though. Schwartz has got a break. Spin him. There you go. Cut in front. Rip it. Oh, what a save by Dustin Tukarski. Poke it. Try to get some more pressure on. He's coming in. One-on-one. -on -one. Just don't let him cut into the middle. That's got to be a penalty. That's got to be a penalty. There's no way. EA, come on. What was that? That, that is 
frustrating. Wow. I What was that? Gets pushed in, Mayor. I don't even know. I, I'm at a loss for words. How is that a goal? There's no way that's a goal. Alright, whatever. One to one. We gotta get a goal back. I shouldn't have counted, though. Oh, no. This player is so fast. Nice save by our goalie, Mayor. Come on. Don't let him get a second chance. Come on. Watch out for the cross crease. Alright, Breen. Can we tie him up, please? There you go. Get a couple of poke checks on. Kellenberger, get back. See if we can uh, counterattack here. Moloch, go. We're going to sauce it all the way to Kellenberger. Go. One more pass. Oh, man. That would have been a beautiful play. Oh, Steckel. Spin him. Nice. Cut in front. Beat Dustin Tukarski. What a goal by Steckel. He's got that long reach. I thought I would just stick handled by his players. And we make it 2-1. to one. That was a highlight reel goal for Steckel. Hopefully more to come for him. So, 2-1. to one. Still got 18 minutes left in the third period. Come on, set it up. We got a power play here. 1-T. Moloch. Santalo. What a goal. Loses the fuck, but doesn't matter. He does a nice little spinorama. We make it 3-1 to one now with a two-goal lead. That is a big goal to get, but... We still got 16 minutes left. Let's make sure we don't give him any uh, uh, Chris Kreider type goals. Alright, so there is the first win of Pack Squads. That means a one gold pack that we can open up, which is pretty nice. But we definitely outplayed our opponent. Uh, doesn't really matter about the coins now because we already have a whole bunch in our uh, coin total. So let's go ahead and take a look at the stats here. It should be pretty uh, not even. 21 to 4 in shots. 16 minutes time on attack to 3 minutes, so definitely outplayed. The three stars, Nick Cronwell, David Steckel, and uh, Santala as well. So good game by us, good first win. So let's go ahead into the store, let's buy that gold pack. Alright, here we go. We got the 7500 pack ready to be opened. We get three players and also a gold rare player in there. So hopefully we can pull something good and it should be pretty helpful to the team for the most part because any gold players that we get should replace some of the silver and bronze ones, but... Let's take a look at what we get. Paul Martin is going to be a rare player, so a good defender that we can use. Uh, what else do we have here? We have uh, Zach Redmond, not a bad defender. Matt Green as well, that's a good defender. So a whole defender pack for us to use. So let's go ahead, send those guys to our team, see where they fit in. All right, so we found a place for our three defenders. You'll see here that we put in Paul Martin to that second line left defensive spot. We put in Zach Redmond into that second line right defensive spot as well as Matt Green into our third line right defender spot. So no huge changes with this team, but our defensive core is definitely more strong with those defenders in there. So we'll see how we play in our next game of Pack Squad. So let's go ahead, start up a game. I'll meet you guys in there. All right, here we go. This is going to be a challenge. He's got Tavares, Tarasenko, and Jamie Benn on his first line. So it's going to be definitely interesting if we can uh, pull off a win here. But let's get it going. Let's see what we can do. Oh, Redmond, nice steal. Come on, bring up the puck to Dravecki. Go, go, go. Cut in front. Shoot it. Kellenberger. Oh, man. got some, Getting some shots on net. Just cannot capitalize. He's got a really stacked team, which I got to watch out for. Nice block. Big save by Mayer. Jeez, that was a rocket of a shot, and that could have been worrisome, but still 0-0. We haven't let in too many good chances so far, so we just got to play well defensively, see if we can counterattack. Oh, great steal by Steckel. Come on, right right around the net. He's got some reach. He's got some reach. Backhand it. Oh, man, good chance there, Schwartz. Come on, cycle down a little Steckel. In front. Oh, half away. Oh, what a good shot there. That was a great A scoring chance. Just couldn't get it. Back to the point, though. Cronwall. Oh, fans on the shot. Get back. Pavelski's fast. Don't let him cut in. Don't let him cut in. There you go. Good defense. David Steckel, come on. Right by Duncan Key. Double backhand. Oh, man. We almost scored a goal there. We're definitely creating some havoc. Cronwall. Come on. Circle around. Steal the puck. Still got it. Still got it. Duncan Keith, he's not going to get by Duncan Keith. Or maybe he's going to steal the puck, though. Back down low to Lapierre. There you go, Mutinin. Shoot it! Shoot! Oh my goodness, what a pad save by his goalie. Oh, what a save, but uh, unfortunately Lapierre can score that. But we're going into the first intermission here. Let's take a look at the stats. 9-1 to one in shots. 
three minutes time on attack to one minute. So we're out playing this guy with a really good team. He's got Dungan Keep. He's got like at least a one mil team here. So we'll see if our team can hold out. We need to get a goal now. Let's see what we can do in the second. Oh no, Tarasenko cuts right out in front. I thought Cronwall would uh, get a better poke there, but I kind of just veered off and one to nothing. Start of the second period. That is not good. We've got to get that goal back. Tarasenko just coming right in. Cromwell just completely juked me out there. Tarasenko cutting in. Yeah, no chance for Mayor. Oh my goodness. That goal just happens to me too often in NHL. I just poked it right into my own net. We make it, well, he makes it two to nothing. And uh, we, we're down two now. That's not good. Oh, there it is. LaPierre! What a shot! What a rip by his goalie, Pecorini. And we make it 2-1. to one. We're still in it, boys. And uh, we'll see if we can tie it back up in the second period, hopefully. Oh, Dico Weber! The double backhand! Oh, no hands on that guy. Come on, get back. Get back, Hathaway. Cronwall, just get right in front of him. There you go. Pass it up. Headman the puck. Harold, come on. Uh, you got the stick lift on, but we got Steckler. We got the Steckle. Uh, right through the legs. What a deke. Go, go, go. Low shot on net. Poke. Oh, man. I could have maybe snuck by. David Steckle with a long reach, though, keeping it in. With a good chance. Oh, Rene, what a close save. Oh, Santala. Oh, gets robbed by Rene. 39 seconds left, and we couldn't tuck that one home, but... We'll see if we can get another chance here. David Steckle taking the faceoff. We're going aggressive with this faceoff. Push in. There you go. 90 faceoffs coming in. Come on. We need the counterattack here. We need the counterattack. Poke it. There it is. Go, go, go. Back to Schwartz. Go, go, Schwartz. 86 overall are one of our best players. No, cannot cut in. See if we can uh, pass it to Steckle there. Nice. Cut in. Beat Buffalo. Back to the point. There it is. Harold. Yes! Harold ties it back up with 18 seconds left. What a huge goal. Oh man, we are definitely not destroying this guy, but we're definitely outplaying him. We definitely deserve that goal there, so 2-2 two to two now. Let's see if we can win it, hopefully in the third or in OT. Alright, Steckel. Win it right back to the defender. There it is. There it is. Harold! Shoot it! Shoot it! Steckel! Oh my goodness, almost poked it in. But no chance, we couldn't score there, but still, 2-2, two to two, we're heading into OT with a power play as well. He took a penalty when we added in some pressure there, but let's see what we can do in OT. Four on three, Steckel and Schwartz out on the ice for us. See if we can uh, get a goal here. Nice tie up. There it is, Schwartz. You can be Bufflin. There it is. There it is. Back in forehand. Yes! Jaden Schwartz, we capitalize right off the face off. Bufflin's too slow for that one. And we win our second game. That was a clutch game for the first episode of Pack Squads. Can't ask for a better episode. So let's go ahead and uh, go back into the store. Let's take a look at the stats first before we uh, go ahead and buy the pack. 17 to 8 in shots. 7 minutes time on attack to 4 minutes. He had some really good players, but still no match for our Pack Squad squad. Uh, but there it is. Three stars, Short, Steckel, and Lapierre. Good game by us. Let's go ahead into the store and buy a pack. I can't believe we won that guys, but I'm in the store right now and I just realized there is that Series 2 Expansion Plus pack and I think these are the packs I should be opening up instead of the gold packs because these ones should have some better stats overall, so this is the pack I'm going to be opening up. Uh, since we are on a two game win streak, we can open up two 7500 coin packs or uh, we can just open up a 15k pack because it's just double of this pack pretty much, so let's go ahead and open up this one instead. Let's see what we get here. And let's see if we can uh, get a good pull for our last uh, pack of the episode here. So here we go. Let's see if we get anything good. Chicago Blackhawks jersey. Uh, any good players, though? Come on. Imagine if we got a team of the year, though. That would be crazy. Ben Smith, I think he is the rare gold player that we get. And we also get one more as well. I don't think it's Andrew McDonald. Let's keep going here. We got Jonas Brodeen, so an 86 overall player. 
We also have uh, Curtis Lazar and um, Michael Roosevelt and David DeArnay. So lots of upgrades for our team after that win. So let's go ahead, send all these guys to our collection, see where they fit in. All right, so we definitely found a place for every single player that we got from that pack. I'm just so happy that we won that game so we could buy that pack. And that's going to make our team a lot better heading into the next episode of Pack Squads. But I will quickly show you what our team is looking like heading into the next episode. But we have Curtis Lazar playing on that first line right wing spot. Giving a little bit more skill and speed into that first line instead of Garnet Hathaway. And I did put Ben Smith on that second line. And he's going to be playing alongside with two non-rare goal players. Reed Boucher and Hathaway, like I said. We have Dravecki, David DeHarnay, and Steve Kellenberger on that third line. As well as moving a Santa Santala, who was on that second line center spot. Now he's playing on the fourth line center spot. So definitely our centermen in our offensive lineup have definitely gone a lot better after that pack. So definitely looking forward to playing with that offense next episode. Going into the defense as well. Uh, we picked up Jonas Brodeen, who's playing alongside with Nicholas Cronwell. That's going to be a very solid defensive pairing. Andrew McDonald playing alongside with Paul Martin, so that will be really good as well. And then Peter Harold replacing Redmond, because I actually didn't mind Peter Harold. He played a really good game, as well as Ben Hutton there playing alongside with him. So, uh, some solid defense, no changes with the goalie or head coaches, but that is going to end off this episode of Pack Squads. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. I'm, I'm going to try to post out another episode as soon as possible for you guys. So I uh, look forward to the next episode of Pack Squad. So that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Come on. Something. Anything. Gary Gabbard. Frederick Anderson. Blake Wheeler. All right. 89 and 90 overall. But... Let's get a Rick Nash. Yeah.